Hello everyone, my name is Avkash and in this video I will be showing you how I have installed various NVIDIA drivers, CUDA related packages in my deep learning machine. So my machine is running Ubuntu 22.04 with kernel 5.18 and then I have the latest NVIDIA display driver for the Titan XP GPU with 12 gig of RAM installed version 5.5.57 released just two days back and I do have the latest uh, CUDA toolkit 11.7 installed with latest Conda toolkit 11.7 besides that I do have the installed Python 3.9 along with Torch and TensorFlow both are supporting GPU. The objective behind this video is that you can see how these packages are installed and if you are having any problem you can follow the video to solve your problem and if still you have problem please do reach out to me and I will be happy to assist you. To make things more simple all the commands and the instructions used in this video are available at this github repo for you to follow so let's get ourselves started as you can see that i do have ubuntu 22.04 lts installed in this machine i do have the updated kernel version to 5.18.6 and my machine has nvidia titan xp with 12 gig ram and when I was updating my kernel from 5.15 to 1.8, I didn't make video. However, here are the instructions. You just really need to download these four files and these are all uh, Debian packages. So you just need to use the Debian package installer. And once you install that, your kernel will be updated to 5.18, which is quite latest for the Ubuntu 22.04. The next step is to update the NVIDIA display driver and because my machine is Titan XP so I will be downloading the Titan XP driver for that I did go to NVIDIA website and downloaded the driver for the Titan XP and the latest driver which is available just two days back 28th of June 515.57 so that's the driver which just downloaded from this website and in order to install it, it's best to install this driver in the recovery mode. After you have started your Ubuntu machine, you have an option to choose the recovery mode. In the recovery mode, you are given an option to choose a particular op menu option and you can select the root prompt in the recovery mode. Once you get your root prompt, at that point, you can select your NVIDIA 515.57 driver and use the sudo with sh command to start the installation. If you will have a previous NVIDIA driver installed in the machine, you are being prompt to overwrite or abort your installation. Here I have chosen to continue installation. The installation has started and it shows the progress and at certain point you will see that installation is almost 100% done. At that point the option is given to install the NVIDIA 32-bit compatibility libraries which I have selected yes and at the last you are also given an option to install the NVIDIA X config utilities and I have also selected yes. That's all you really needed in order to install your NVIDIA driver from the recovery root prompt. Once installation is done, reboot your machine and you are ready to go. The next step is to download the CUDA toolkit 11.7 and I will be selecting Linux x86 architecture Ubuntu machine and my version is going to be 22.04. I have used this Debian package and here are the instructions. 
So this was the website we have used and here were the instructions we have used for CUDA 11.7 and now we can use the Neo Fetch and after that we can use the NVIDIA SMI and here you could see that I do have the CUDA 11.7 installed in this machine with the NVIDIA driver 51515 which we have installed earlier. At this point if I use the NVCC that also proves that I do have the NVCC CUDA compiler driver is also available and it matches with this 11.7 and this 11.7. So now I have NVIDIA plus CUDA components display driver 515 toolkit 11.7 NVCC 11.7. We can also check the GCC. So I do have these GCC and G++ 11.2 and my CMake 3.22. So these are the latest components we do have. Now the next step is for us to get the uh, CUDA NN library installed in this machine. So our next step is to install the CUDA NN library, neural network library. And to get first, you need to visit the CUDA NN download. You just need to have all that sign up and everything and then that should give you CUDA 11 or the CUDA 10 because we are having CUDA toolkit 11.7 so most appropriate version is going to be the CUDA 11 and here are the local installers so you could get even the Debian package there is a version 18 and version 20 Ubuntu is available not for 22 so I decided to just use this Linux 86 star file so I could install it manually so this is what I have downloaded from here. We just need to go and we need to untar it. So tar and that's it's going to uncompress it. Now looking into the folder here you could see that there is only include folder and there is there is lib folder. I will just call it cud nn folder. So now our CUDA nn is here. Now the next step is to take these all the header files and merge them with CUDA toolkit and same the lib CUDA nn files and then merge them with our CUDA toolkit. First I need to show you that the bash path and that is installed in this user local CUDA 11.7 and user local CUDA 11.7. So these are the paths we can validate this. CUDA is installed in this machine and our path will be CUDA CUD NN and this will be CUD NN. So this is our command. We are copying CUD NN include everything and it's going to go user local CUDA 11.7 include. Same thing we will do for this. So here you could see that we have lib64. It means this path is correct. So we just need to take cudnn lib and all the way to lib64. So this will be lib. And copy both commands are done. And now after we just need to make sure that these are executable and these settings are so this is we are changing the cudna which we have just copied all is done now we can validate this so if you look into here include cud so we have CUDA and file is there same thing if we go to here and click look for and cudn start start so these are the file lib cud and then lib cud nn nn start it means the cop files has been copied here so we have validated that files are copied from here to lib64 and these files are also copied from here so the copy is done and finally we just run the last command update the Next step for us to have the CUDA and the Python related packages. So first, because I'm using Conda in this machine for creating various Python environment. So I will be installing the CUDA toolkit related with the Anaconda for our CUDA version 11.7. 11 
you could actually install the CUDA toolkit for the Conda just by using this command. And here is the toolkit which I was installing and after I installed, it just took some time but by end the toolkit is installed with the Python here. I already have the Python version 3.9 running in this machine and this version is also having the torch installed here I have the Python and if I try to look into the looking into the torch you can see that the torch can find the CUDA it means that torch and CUDA they are working however with the JAX you could see that JAX is not able to find the GPU and that's a different problem after that I am installing the TensorFlow for my Python 3.9 environment I have installed the TensorFlow and because my Python version is 3.9 so 3.9 specific TensorFlow with the GPU support is installed and after that here as you could see that I am I'm using the TensorFlow and I'm checking if the GPU is found and GPU is found here so now we can validate that we have CUDA 11.7 with driver 51557. Then after we can also run the NeoFetch. So it proves that Ubuntu with kernel and all that things we have. After that we can also check the we have NV CC which is also matches with version this and 11.7. Uh, and then finally we can say Python. So I have to use Conda. Here I could use the Python. Here I'm using the TensorFlow to check if the GPU is accessible and GPU is accessible here. Then I can also use the Torch and here we can get the Torch GPU. So please do reach out to me if you have any problem and I will be very happy to assist you.